All right, developing news now. A suspect has been taken into custody in connection with the shooting that left a Philadelphia police officer dead. 18-year-old Yobrani Martinez Fernandez was arrested early this morning in Cherry Hill, and the search continues for other suspects tonight. Action News reporter Maggie Kent live at police headquarters with the very latest. Maggie. Rick, one alleged suspect is dead, another now in police custody, but police say they still need more help in this investigation. They're looking for more fugitives, and that reward continues to increase. 18-year-old Yobrani Martinez Fernandez of Camden in custody of the U.S. Marshals. Around his wrists, the handcuffs of slain Philadelphia police officer Richard Mendez. Investigators say the work is not done. We need more. We need more people to call. We still have at least two individuals who are at large, and it could be more. Martinez Fernandez is believed to be one of the three to four suspects inside the PHL International parking lot on Thursday night when Officer Raul Ortiz was shot in the arm and Officer Richard Mendez was killed. We think by the evidence someone came behind him and fired a weapon. Alleged accomplice, 18 year old Jesus Madera Duran, was also killed, dropped by his friends at Children's Hospital. Martinez Fernandez was captured at the Days Inn on Route 38 in Cherry Hill. Police are looking into leads that these suspects had a history of stealing cars across state lines. This group here, um, it seems as, as DC Venora alluded to, uh, they were doing work in, in, in Jersey and, and not necessarily all related in the city. Some of it related in the city. Council member Ketty Lozada knew Richie, as she calls him, for years and read the Mendez family statement. Family was his number one priority. As a son, husband, and father, his daughter Mia was his pride and joy along with his wife Alexandra. A viewing for Officer Mendez will be held next Monday with the funeral next Tuesday at the Basilica. As for that reward, it continues to increase. Right now, it's at $244,000 for information that leads to an arrest and conviction of the suspects who are still outstanding. We're live at police headquarters, Maggie Kent, Channel 6 Action News. Rick. All right, Maggie, thank you.